You know, President uh, Zelensky, the leader of Ukraine, he warned that the Russians would intensify their attacks this week. Uh, this as Ukraine waits for a decision from the European Union on its candidacy for membership in the European bloc. And, you know, President Putin has said, look, I don't have a problem with, uh, with Ukraine joining the EU, but uh, I think events on the ground suggest otherwise. What is happening in Severodonetsk and its twin city, Lusychansk, some of the heaviest fighting, some of the heaviest shelling that we have seen since the war began. And what we have heard from a local governor is that the Russians have moved into a local village, one of the villages which, which surround these two cities called Toshkivka. does sound like they are making some limited progress. We just spoke to one of the commanders, commander of the Svoboda battalion. They are fighting right in Severodonetsk for the Ukrainians. Uh, he said the front line hasn't actually moved, but he said the shelling was the heaviest that they have experienced. He said it is raining shells in Severodonetsk at the moment. And we also spoke to the police chief in the city just across the river in Lusychansk. His name is Oleg Grigorov. We, we did a video call with him because we were asked, we wanted to ask for an interview with him. He was in a bunker. He did not look very happy at all. Uh, he said the shelling was very happy, and he said he would speak to us uh, tomorrow if they survived it. Oh, that's horrific, John. Um, I just mentioned it earlier when I was introing you, but why is Lithuania now being dragged into the conflict? Yeah, it's a good question. There, there is a flashpoint there, a, a, a mark or a point of tension, and that has really broken out into the open. What has happened is that the EU is, has moved to implement a ban on the, impl on the transport of goods from Russia. And we're talking about things like metals and coal and uh, computer technology, that sort of stuff. Basically, that kind of stuff is not supposed, not allowed to move into European or EU territory. There is this bit of Russia, this slither of Russia on the Baltic Sea called Kaliningrad, sandwiched between Poland and Lithuania. There is agreement that allows uh, people and things to move between Russia proper and Kaliningrad. And now the Lithuanians say, look, we're just implementing this ban. We're implementing this EU ban on all goods on our territory going to Kaliningrad. Uh, the Russians are very, very un unhappy about this. The governor of Kaliningrad says, look, this is 50% of everything we import that you're telling us we can't, that you're going to ban now. And the Russians in Moscow are very upset as well. The, uh, Vladimir Putin's spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, he has said the situation is more than serious. He said they're going to think about it very carefully before they take countermeasures. And here, I'll just show you. Here's a tank going by. If you can see it, that... that yeah, that road leads to Severodonetsk. We have seen a lot of heavy equipment moving east. That was one of them. They often come by in long, long convoys. Tanks, a precious commodity for the Ukrainians. They don't have that many of them. They're sending them into battle. I think it is fair to say that the fight has really intensified in the Donbass, in and around Severodonetsk and Lusychansk over the last couple of days.